Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I have a ridiculous, ridiculous native deodorant haul. I realize, I do realize how weird this is. I bought a ton of the native deodorants. This is more <laughs> than the average person would ever buy at one time, but there is a reason. Um, I have been using native for, I think a couple years now. I thought when I logged into an account or something, it had like my history of what I'd purchased maybe, or I don't remember how, um, how I figured this out, but I was looking back to when they released one specific scent that I, I don't know, tried to begin with. Um, and I think it went back to 2017. So I think I've been using native deodorant for a couple years now. It's by far the best natural, like, um, aluminum free deodorant that I've ever tried. Um, I really, really like it. I have yet to find another natural deodorant that I like as much. Um, just really quickly, not to make this a, a long review, but they come out with fun limited edition scents. They've got general scents. They're available at Target now. They are pricier. They're $12 online. I think they're $11.99 at Target, but you get free shipping online with any order and they often have coupon codes so you can save. So I, if unless you need to run out and get it at Target right away, I suggest ordering it online where you can use a coupon code, which is exactly what I did. Um, I like the different scents. They smell good, but they're not overpowering. Um, the formula is so nice. Um, I think the first like one or two times it takes, you know, it's harder on the top, so it takes a little bit to um, soften it up, but then I don't have any issue with it gliding on. It's super moisturizing. It kind of melts with your body temperature pretty easily. And the really, really nice thing about it is that it washes off clean. It doesn't leave any oily, sticky residue. It's just, it's awesome. Um, it's not an antiperspirant, so it's not going to stop you from sweating because it doesn't have that aluminum in it. Um, so it takes a little bit of getting used to, to feel your body sweat but it's, you get used to it pretty quickly, I think, and it feels more normal, to be honest. Um, living my whole life using an antiperspirant and switching to, to a deodorant was like, yeah, a weird change, but um, I, I'm used to it. And now when I go back to regular deodorants, I kind of feel like I'm doing something bad, like <laughs> to my body, you know, and I do like not sweating some days when I know I'm going to be like working out or moving around a lot or busier at work, I will wear an antiperspirant. Um, but this really does the trick for me. Um, I don't smell like BO. Now there are like good reviews and there are bad reviews with any product. It's going to work for some people and not for others. Some people don't understand that it's a deodorant and not an antiperspirant. And, uh, for that, I guess you just, you have to know the difference between them. And then other people have said that, um, it either doesn't work for them or they'll get a rash or, uh, or something. And that's just like with any product, you could have an allergic reaction or something. So, um, there's that. I have seen someone, uh, maybe like one or two people say that they've had like stained armpits. I have not had that. I don't, I don't know what that would look like. I would like to see pictures. I've heard people say like their armpits are darker. Um, I've seen that like in reviews, but I don't know. I haven't seen any before and after pictures. I haven't seen any pictures of it. So I don't know what that would look like. Um, or like how few and far between that happens. It didn't happen to me. It hasn't happened to me. But anyway, I just felt like mentioning that. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is they do have a sensitive formula. I did purchase two of those. I've tried both. I don't really notice a difference between them. I do think I like the one with baking soda. I feel like it, it well, it might work a little bit better, but I really haven't noticed like one makes me sm smell and one doesn't, or the formula is completely different. They feel like exactly the same except I, maybe it's in my mind that one works better. But one of them is baking soda free for those who are uh, sensitive to baking soda. So that's the sensitive formula. And I did get two of those because I just wanted to try them to see if I can figure out is there a difference or is there not a difference, that type of thing. So anyway, now that I've rambled for five minutes about that, um, I will leave like, hopefully I can edit this or put in the down bar below like video starts at this time or put a comment or like pin a post or something like that. Okay, so the reason why I bought them was because they had a coupon code that I used, and I believe it was for 30% off, 
and I just Googled it, to be honest. Um, the thing is, how it came about was I really like the strawberry rhubarb scent, and I asked them if they would come back with it because they have this limited edition, like, Father's Day trio. And one of them's, like, bacon-scented because they, they're known to, for doing weird scents. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I was like, bacon, come on, guys. Why don't you bring back strawberry rhubarb? That one was awesome. And they said that was a limited edition scent. We're all sold out of it, but we did send you a private message. Well, then in the private message, it said, hey, Christy, thanks for your interest in whatever, you know, the deodorant. We actually do have some in stock. They're on a special link that leads you to their, like, retired, discontinued scents. And it's like this secret scent list that you can't even, like, find navigating yourself on the regular, um website. So I'm going to try and link that down below for you. And then they were like, you know, thanks for being supportive to native. Here's 10% off or what, I don't remember what it was. So, um, I'm like 10%. That's awesome. Thank you. And then I Googled a better one. So I think I got like, it was either 20 or 30%. Maybe it wasn't 30. Maybe it was only 20. I don't remember. Um, I will try and send you cause it's not on my invoice. Uh, what that coupon code was and hopefully it still works. But yeah, I just Googled it on Retail Me Not and it works. So it was perfectly fine. Again, shipping is free. So the way that it showed up in the cart, um, it did show like some of them were more expensive than others, but it, I don't, and I don't know why it did that mathematically, but they all did end up getting like my total was like 20% off or whatever. It, who's either 20 or 30? I'm sorry. I can't remember. Um, but it did end up doing that percentage. It's just the way that each one rang up happened to be different. Like some of them rang up for like $8 and 15 cents and some of them were $10 and 11 cents or something like that. So there's that. Okay. Let's get into the video. So this is pretty much for anyone who, you know, not necessarily that watches my channel, but anyone who's really interested in native deodorants, a little preview there. Let's talk about the scents. Okay. So we're at set about seven, seven minutes in. Real good there. Okay, I'm going to start on this left side. And um, this is new to me scent. Excuse my reach across the video. Um, this is one of the sensitive scents. And this is blackberry and green tea. I actually just paused for a second to try and like turn the um, light up on my screen here. So I don't know if it's increasing it for you guys or if it's only incre increasing it for me while I'm filming. But yeah, there's that. So this is the... Um, Blackberry and green tea, and this is the sensitive formula. This is what it's going to look like. It's just clear white. And uh, you just twist it up. I can't do that with my hand. Well, you're supposed to be able to twist it up. What's going on here? Oh, okay, there. Pretty, pretty easy. Okay, so this scent, I didn't really know what to expect. But I, I googled reviews. I had to know reviews. And I searched like groups and stuff. Um, this smells so good. I'm glad I got two of these. I got one in the sensitive and one in the regular. I don't know how I would describe this. Because some, there's something familiar about it. The blackberry is kind of like a tart berry. And the green tea isn't very tea-like. However, I do want to melt a little bit of it on my finger here. And it melts so smoothly like butter. I mostly get a little bit of that tart berry. And it's just kind of like fresh and clean, like body care-esque. So there's that one. And then this is the regular formula. Um, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty similar. It's going to look exactly the same there. Um, and there's that. Now, I don't know. This is one of the, yeah, it smells exactly the same. I was going to see if there was any formula difference in the scent there. Like if one was going to be lighter than the other. Um, I don't know what the life span is for these, like when you should use them by. I go through these fairly quickly. I feel like I do go through them faster than a regular deodorant, which is another thing I should have mentioned. But I don't care because I, I like it. It works for me. It's It hasn't been my cure for my rash that I have, which you guys, some of you guys know about, some of you don't. That is on the outside of my arms, not underneath. That would be related to like a yeast infection is on the outside. And it's believed to be some type of an allergy. 
I don't know. It could be an allergy to baking soda, I, but I thought I got tested for that in my allergy test. Okay, so these three are pretty much the same, except this one up here is the sensitive formula. This is the strawberry rhubarb, and this is basically what made me want to place this order. I just, I don't even like strawberry rhubarb anything. It's just like lightly fruity strawberry, like that strawberry rhubarb set. A little sweet, little sour, or tart, I should really say, because it's not really sour. And then these two are the exact same. They're the regular strawberry rhubarb one as well. And I just, I really like that scent. Now, is it my favorite of all time? I don't know, but I, but I needed to order a few of them because that was the reason why they sent me a message um, and, you know, told me about the extra special list, private list. Um, they do have it for men's scents too. So like if you Google like discontinued native scents, you can probably find the link to it as well and click on it um, and find like the discontinued men's scents too if you were like looking for those ones they don't have all of them it's basically once they're sold out they're gone so this is just like back stock okay the next one is candy cane and this is going to be different than the uh the next one that i show you i haven't had this one before it was described as peppermint and vanilla so candy cane that's what it smells like it's not like exactly a candy cane scent because they're all really light. It's more like they really come out when you use them. But more of like that candy cane peppermint vanilla. I do like that. Some people would say, you want to smell like a candy cane? Yeah, I like Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works, so I do like peppermint scents. And then this one, which is the same as this one right down here, is the um, peppermint and sugar cane. So I've tried this one before and I really liked it. So I bought two of them. And this one is um, darker. That's what it looks like. It's just kind of smeared. My fingernails are really gross. So it just kind of melts. You can kind of see how it's getting a little bit darker on that side because it's um, melting. Sorry, I'm just smelling it. I'm trying to, to distinguish the difference. This is more of like a sugary peppermint scent, like a sugary peppermint candy, I guess. I don't know. I like both. <clears throat> I, I wish I could have ordered like one of every single scent, but I just couldn't. Um, and I, I knew I liked that one. I don't know if they're ever going to come back with it. So I decided to get two of them because I do like peppermint scents, like I said. Okay, this one is lemon cake and it's actually... What do they call it on the website? In case you're like, oh, I didn't see a lemon cake. It is called lemon cake bar, lemon cake bar. But on here it just says lemon cake. So that's that. This one smells really good. Now I'm sick right now, so I can't smell as well as I normally do or can. They have a lemon and pomegranate too. I have tried that one. I liked it, but not enough to need it again. I, w I would rather try a new scent. And that's like a... Sorry. That's like a sugary lemon scent. Not like pledge-like, but actually like lemon bakery, like sugary lemon bakery scent. I really like that one. I don't think there's a single one I don't like, but I will tell you my least favorite. And it's a little bit further down. So cranberry and plum, when I placed an order in the past, I got a small sample size, uh, like travel size for my older sister. They're like $2 or $5, I don't know how much they are, but they're actually, they're really, really tiny. So I don't think they're worth the money unless you really want something that's tiny and travel size. You'll use it up so quickly. But I mean, if you just want to try the scent, yeah, it's decent, but I think it's better just to use a coupon and buy the full size and just go for it. Um, but this cranberry plum is a scent that I got her and I smelled it and I didn't really care for it. But smelling this, I totally regret not getting more. This smells so good. To me, I'm having a really hard time smelling these right now. This is probably not the best video for me to do right now. To me, this smells like 
the cherry polish. I'm a dental hygienist. So the cherry polish that we use, it's almost like cherry almond cake. <clears throat> That's what this smells like to me. It's for, obviously that polish is one that kids like. Yeah, it just smells sweet. It kind of smells like, it doesn't smell like cranberry or plum, maybe plum. But more like cherry almond cupcake or something to me. I don't know. It's, it just smells really good. It's not too like almond -y, like that type of scent, but man, it's so good. I wish I had gotten more of that. If I place another order after like trying one of these, um, I would get more of that one for sure. I'm like disappointed. I only got one. I know you're like, how many deodorants do you need? But like I said, I go through them pretty quickly. And as far as like natural deodorants go, um, I really like this brand, so there's that. Yeah, it's weird to have this many, but it's like we, when you can get them cheaper, you just feel like you want to. And then when they're limited edition, that gets you too. Okay, so apricot and white peach. This is actually my least favorite of all of them, and I still do like it. It's, it's apricot and peach, definitely. It smells just like that. It's honestly one of the best, best like peach scents I've smelled in like wax melts, candles and stuff. I don't think they get peach as authentic as this. It smells like, like a fuzzy nectarine or peach. Um, it smells really good. I just, I'm not like a huge fan of peach. So, you know, I just like all the other ones better, I guess. Okay. And then we've got vanilla sandalwood. And I really like this one. Oh, I'm bummed that I can get more of this one. This is for someone who doesn't want those like kitty, fruity type scents. Um, more mature. It's vanilla and sandalwood. It smells awesome. This could be a unisex scent for men or women. Some women might say, oh no, that's a manly scent. I like it. It smells like fall. I should have gotten another one of these. I really should have. I feel like this one's going to be strong though. So if you're not into strong scents, I don't know if you'd like that one. I ha I just have a feeling that one's going to be stronger um, and could be headache inducing to someone who's sensitive to scents. And these last two are the same. They are uh, lychee and goji berry. And this one smells like berry fruit snacks. It smells really good. Um, I like it just the way I like that strawberry and rhubarb. Just a unique fruity scent. Um, something different. It's hard to tell whether I like this one better or the strawberry rhubarb, to be honest. This is really nice. I think I want to start out using one of these going into the summertime. It smells like natural. It kind of smells like berry fruit roll-ups. Like, that's how I would describe it. Like a berry fruit roll-up or like a natural... Um, fruit roll up type thing where it just smells like genuine fruit that's been like made into a fruit roll up if that makes sense it's really gummy really yummy I feel like I can smell actual like tart fruits like I, I would I could say this is a raspberry fruit roll up or raspberry strawberry fruit roll up I don't really I can't, I can't really tell like goji berry and lychee um, I know what lychee smells like Kind of like a tart fruit. Goji berry is kind of similar. So I could see it being those. But I think more commonly people would just say like a strawberry or a raspberry scent for this one. Um, so that's that. So that's everything that I got. Sorry this video is so long. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're like curious which ones I've used and which ones I like since uh, filming this video. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to wait and save the peppermint ones and this vanilla sandalwood for like the fall time. Uh, but I do want to use like the fruity summery ones for the summertime. If I had to pick a favorite, ooh, I don't think I could. I don't think I could because I'm like, I obviously I like the strawberry rhubarb because I bought a ton of that. I do really like that blackberry and green tea. I would buy more of this. I would, this uh, cranberry and plum, I'd buy more of this one. Um, and then this lychee and goji berry is just like, you know fruity and nice just like that one so I don't really know so I don't I can't say 
I can't say. <clears throat> They're all just so good. And I know it's so, again, it's so weird to be like this about deodorant, but when you feel like you go to the store and you can't really use any of those products on the shelves anymore, um, and you're pretty limited, um, this is kind of like a fun thing to get into when you're looking for like natural deodorants. It's a nice, nice thing to have the option. And so anyway, I will link, um, that like secrets menu thing, <clears throat> Uh, down below and then I'll try and find that coupon code. I know it was like letters and numbers and it wasn't didn't like spell out like 30 off or you know something like that. It wasn't something simple like that. It was weird. But I'll try and find that for you guys and link that below. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.